Welcome, everyone. Today, we're going to focus on the past continuous tense, right? So we've done the present, present continuous comparison. Then we had a look at the simple past tense. In that, I quickly, very quickly touched a bit on this, but I didn't go in detail. But in this lesson, we are going to go in detail to the past continuous tense, right? All right. The past continuous tense is used to refer to an action that was going on at a specific time in the past or an action or situation continued for a period of time in the past. So, what does this tense refer to? It refers to an action that was going on at a specific time in the past or a situation or action that continued for a period of time in the past. So let's have a look at an example. At 5 p.m. day before yesterday, so it was at a specific time in the past, my friends and I were planning the activities for the rally next week. Okay, so this was at a definite time in the past or we call it a specific time in the past. And it was going on at a specific time in the past. What time? At 5 p.m. day before yesterday. So therefore, you use the past continuous tense. Okay, Daisy and I were reminiscing about old times for a couple of hours last morning. This again is a continuous action in the past, right? Now, if you can understand the form here, right? If it is singular, It is was plus the verb plus ing. Or if it is the plural, were plus the verb plus ing. Right? So if it is I, I was eating, they were eating, my friends and I were because it is plural, right? So singular was plus the verb plus ing, plural were plus the verb plus ing, right? Moving on. Past continuous tense or the simple past tense is used to refer to two actions which were going on at the same time of speaking. Okay, so two actions were going on at the same time of speaking that is in the past, right? So again, two actions happening at the same time in the past. All right, so Jenny was selecting seeds while Victoria was preparing the vegetable patch. Now remember, if they were happening at the same time in the past, you have to use while. Because that was happening while this was happening. While means simultaneously at the same time. So, you can use the past continuous tense for both actions or you can use the simple past tense for both actions. If you use it separately like was selecting prepared, 
that is a different idea then those two actions were not happening at the same time so then if you want to talk about an action happening at the same time and one you use it in the past continuous the other in this simple past tense that is wrong okay the time frame is wrong grammatically it's not wrong it has a different meaning but the time frame is completely wrong okay so i was getting ready while my husband was um having a wash okay while my husband was bathing you know something simultaneously it was happening at the same time so jenny was selecting the seats at the same time what was victoria doing she was preparing the vegetable patch vegetable patch means elevalu patya okay in singhalese right jenny selected the seats what was victoria doing at the same time she prepared the vegetable patch so again if you want to talk about two actions happening at the same time in the past you can use the present continuous or you can use the simple past tense right all right now this is what i quickly picked in the simple past tense if you can remember just for you to explain but here is the in detail explanation past continuous tense is used to refer to a longer action and simple past tense is used to refer so let us have a look at the next rule the past continuous tense is used to refer to a long action and the simple past is used to refer to a short action so you use the continuous tense for the long action and you use the simple past for the short action okay when something happened while a long action was going on in the past so i think i touched on this very vaguely when we were doing the simple past tense right and here i'm going to explain it more in detail billy was washing his motorbike outside when a friend visited to his house okay so what was billy doing this is billy's car okay and this is billy okay so billy was washing his car right so he was doing it for some time here also um he was washing and then what happened same action is happening here right what happened someone came and interrupted and visited his house so the longer action is in the past continuous tense whereas the shorter or the interrupted action is in the simple past tense okay so past continuous refers to the longer action whereas the simple past refers to the shorter action so here you can see was washing as you know the form of the past continuous is was plus the verb plus ing if it is plural were plus the verb plus ing whereas a simple past tense visit is a regular verb so you would have visited which is the past form right the past continuous tense is used to refer to repeated actions in the past okay that was going on for some time my leg was aching the whole of yesterday so it was happening repeatedly in the past they were looking for his wallet for 2 hours this morning again repeatedly for 2 hours what were they doing looking for his wallet okay so here we have some exercises which we usually do 
But before that, I'd like to go back and revise very quickly as to when do we use the simple uh, past continuous, right? So here, the past continuous is used for an action that was going on at a specific time in the past or an action or situation that continued for a period of time in the past, right? The next one, you use the simple past tense or past continuous if you want to talk about two actions happening at the same time in the past or rather was happening at the same time in the past. You can either use the present continuous, sorry, you can either use the past continuous or you can use the simple past tense, right? But remember, because there are actions happening at the same time, the word while will always be there, right? The other one is when you use it in the two tenses, right? So you can use the past continuous. You can also use the simple past tense in the same sentence. It's not wrong, but the time frame is different then. So if you talk about two things, right? And you want to refer to two actions, but then two different time frames, the long action takes the past continuous form and the shorter action or the interrupting action takes the simple past tense form. And here the simple past tense is used to refer to repeated actions which happened in the past. Find out why B is correct and A is wrong. At 4 p.m. yesterday evening, Tim make a oral presentation. At 4 p.m. yesterday evening, Tim was making. Now this is like the first example that I did with you or the first use of it, right? At 5 p.m. day before yesterday, my fr friends and I were planning. It was happening, it was going on at a specific time in the past and if so you use the past continuous and the past continuous form is was or were plus the verb plus ing. Therefore the second one is correct, the first one is wrong. Let's have a look at the next one. This is wrong. This is correct. We took orders from the customers while the chef was making noodles. Now the word while is there. So think about what I told you. If two actions were happening simultaneously in the past, it should either be past continuous or it should be simple past tense. So here took is there and then was making is there. So two different forms. We were taking orders while the chef was making noodles. Seems better. Why? Because they were happening at the same time. So if you have the while here and the two actions were happening simultaneously, you have to use the past continuous or simple past tense. Now here, this is in the simple past, this is in the past continuous, so cannot be. But here, past continuous, past continuous can be, it's good to go, right? Next one. Susan was speaking to us when Gil disturbed. Wrong. Susan was speaking to us when Gil disturbed. This is the last use I taught you. Long action, what started first and what was happening? Susan was speaking. Who interrupt? Gil. 
So, gil disturbed, so therefore that is in the simple past tense. The long action that started first and that was going on is in the past continuous tense. The shorter action is in the simple past tense. Whereas this, this is correct, but disturb is a present tense form and it is wrong. So 3a is wrong, 3b is correct. All right, so moving on. The entire month when he was unwell, she worried about him. Wrong. The entire month when he was unwell, she was worrying about him. Right? So it was happening repeatedly in the past because during the time that he was unwell, repeatedly in the past, so was worrying. Whereas worry is incorrect, it is in the simple present tense. Right? Tick the correct sentences. So you have to have a look at the tense, the context, the form and think if the sentence is right or wrong. So while I'm reading it, if number one is right, give it a tick. If it is wrong, just don't mark it. Okay. While I was studying for the exams yesterday evening, my big brother was disturbing. So think about it while is here right then what should it be sandra and i window shopped this morning when we met some of our former teachers think about it what was happening for a longer time what was the shorter one the girls were arguing the whole night about who would win the cricket finals the women collect twigs for the hearth while the men gathered and chopped wood. Cody and I were watching television for a few hours. They were preparing food the whole afternoon to get dinner ready for 100 guests. When inspectors came in to examine the restaurant, we still cleaned and scrubbed. They inform the winners as soon as the game is completed. People were running all over to take shelter when the robbers opened fire. Open fire means, does not mean like, you know, start a fire. Open fire means when they start shooting. Customs officers were searching through the bags thoroughly before they allowed the travelers to proceed. Mm -hmm. So, I hope you've ticked which ones are correct. Okay, let's have a look at it. So, the answers are 1, 3, 5, 6, 9. So, let's have a look at it. 1, 3, 5, 6, and nine okay so these are the correct ones let's have a look at it as to why they are correct so while i was studying brother was disturbing they're both in the past continuous tense so therefore it is correct the girls were arguing it was happening repeatedly in the past at a specific time okay so therefore it is correct. Cody and I were watching again it was happening repeatedly in the past so that is fine. They were preparing the food the whole afternoon to get it ready again happening repeatedly in the past for some time so it was Okay, good to go. Question number six. People were running all over again. It is at what? Um, was happening for some time in the past. So therefore it is past continuous. Let's have a look at what is wrong. Sandra and I window shop this morning when we met. So if you met your teachers, can this be window shopped? 
wrong. So this is the interrupting action. Then the longer action should be in the past continuous form. So Sandra and I were window shopping this morning when we met some of our teachers, right? The women collect twigs while the men gathered and chopped. So can you say collect wrong because if you have while and the two actions are happening or was happening simultaneously in the past, it has to be either past continuous or the simple past tense, right? So therefore, it should be collected and that is why it's wrong. Moving on, when inspectors came in to examine the restaurant, we still cleaned? No. So when they came in, we were doing it. Okay. So if we were doing it, we were cleaning and scrubbing because it's when they came. Okay. Next one, they inform winners as soon as the game is completed. It's wrong completely, right? So they inform the winners as soon as the game was completed. But then you have to say they informed because it's in the past. They informed the winners as soon as the game was completed. So it's wrong. Customs officers were searching through the bags thoroughly before they, can you say allow? Wrong. Because this is the interrupting or the shorter action. So if this is the longer, then this should be allowed. Okay, so it is wrong. All right, so the answers for you to double check. One, three, five, six and nine. So I've discussed as to why those answers were correct. And I've also discussed as to why the other answers were wrong. All right, underline the correct verbs in the brackets to complete the sentences. While the two employees debated or were debating in the office, the boss was talking over the phone. So which one is it? Is it debated or were debating? Gary is attending or was attending a presentation at the Hilton Hotel next month. While Samson informed the procedure to the contestants at the game, Nelly, the guides to everybody attended. So was it handed out or hands out? The next one. Mr. White slipped or was sleeping? Which one is it? And fell when he was hurrying to catch the train. Michael is taking up or was taking up a course in dressmaking for the next four years at a college abroad. My leg throb or was throbbing so badly this evening that I decided to go to hospital for treatment. Now pause the video and make sure you've completed the answers before you actually go through the answers with me. All right. So here are your answers. Were debating, is attending, handed out, slipped, is taking, was throbbing. Let us go and have a look at the answers. So here you have while. The two employees, the boss was talking. So simultaneously, two actions happening at the same time. So boss is singular, so was talking, whereas employees are plural, so they were debating. Oh, sorry, I'm supposed to underline it. So let's underline it. So having a look at the answers, it was word debating. Next one, Gary, a presentation at the Hilton Hotel next month. 
So this is a planned activity. So which one do you use? Planned activities, we did it in the present continuous. So is attending. Have a look at your answer. It is, is attending. Next one. While Samson informed, so this again, informed the procedure, what did Nelly do? Handed out. So when you have while, as I told you, either it is in the past continuous or it should be in the simple past tense. So handed out. Next one, fell when he was hurrying to catch the train. So what was the longer action? He was hurrying to catch the train. What happened? He slipped and fell, interrupting action. So the answer is slipped. The next one, Michael blank, of course, for the next four years. Again, it is a planned activity. So when you plan activities, it is a present continuous tense. So is taking up. And that is your answer. The last one, my leg so badly this evening. So it was happening repeatedly at a specific time this evening in the past, right? Decided to go to hospital. So my leg was throbbing. And here you go, you can recheck to see if you've got the same answers and we've discussed as to why these are the answers. All right, so moving on, fill in the blanks. Now we are increasing the level of difficulty, right? So fill in the blanks with the simple present, or it could be the present continuous, it could be the simple past or the past continuous. Why? Because I've done all of those tenses. I've done the present, present continuous, and then we did the simple past, and we've just done the past continuous. So it's like a revision for all of the four tenses. So now you must know the use of all of the tenses, as well as the form of each of the tenses. While we were running on the beach this evening, the fishing container, what? Which tense is it going to belong to? Judith blank into the annex next, next to mine next month. So think about time frames, right? And she will be here for a year before she goes back to States. While Denver blank, how the device worked, the scientists came to watch. Right? The doctors blank, the children in the refugee camp against contagious diseases when Three people from United Nations arrived. Larry blank frequently complain, right? So complain is the verb, frequently is the uh, frequency adverb, right? About the high cost of living nowadays. They blank shovel snow from our front porch for more than half an hour last Saturday evening. The migration officers blank everyone's travel records thoroughly before they permit them to enter. Okay, so always pause the video and then if you want to take more time, take time, do it and then from there onwards continue to watch the video, right? While the girls blank for aid, the robbers fled in a car. When the scouts blank into the cave, they were startled to see fine drawings on the walls. The current population 
explosion in parts of Asia blank strain on the economies of these nations. Right? So think about which form are we going to use? Right? Is it going to be the simple present tense? Or are we going to use the present continuous? If not, are we going to use the past tense, simple past? Or is it going to be the past continuous? Right? All right, so let us have a look at the answers, right? Was arriving, is moving, was demonstrating, were vaccinating, is frequently complaining, were shoveling, examine, shouted, climbed and causes, right? So let us have a look at the answers. So we have while here, we were running on the beach this evening, the fishing container was arriving, okay? Because you have while and they are happening simultaneously at the same time. So if you have a look at the answer, was arriving, right? The next one, Judith into the annex next to mine next month. So it is a planned activity and planned activities are which tense? Present continuous. So Judith is moving. Right? So if we have a look at the answer, is moving. Third one, while Denver blank, how the device worked, the scientists came to watch, right? Now here you can use or you should use demonstrated, okay? But there is another thing that I want you to learn at this point, right? While at this point is acting like it's happening, right? But it's not happening at the same time. While here wants to say that this started earlier. So what is most appropriate here is not demonstrated. Okay, but what is appropriate here is while Denver was demonstrating. Now here, remember, I did teach you while when you have it, you have to use either the past continuous or the simple past tense. Then it means that both of them were happening at the same time. Right? But I did tell you that if you have while and you do use the two different tenses, it is not wrong, but it talks about a different timeline. So, I want to pinpoint that here through this example. Right? So, while Denver was demonstrating, that means while he was doing that, that is the, or that was the longer action. What happened? Interrupted. Who came in? The scientists came to watch. Can you see? Right? All right. So here the answer is was demonstrating. And that's what I wanted you to pick up through this example. If not, sometimes you can get the wrong impression saying, ah, she taught us while has to be like that and therefore it has to be like that. Yes, that is the rule if those two actions are happening at the same time. Okay? Right, let's have a look at question number four. The doctor's 
blank the children in the refugee camp against contagious diseases when three people from United Nations arrived. So they came, they interrupt the action. So this one, the short one is in the simple past tense. But then the longer one should be in the past continuous tense. Were vaccinating. Right? So the doctors were uh, vaccinating the children in the refugee camp. Okay? So were vaccinating. Right? Next one. Larry is doing something complain, right? But nowadays, so he's always doing it nowadays. So it should be Larry is frequently. What should it be? Complaining. Why he's doing it frequently at the time of speaking, right? So that should be the answer. Next one. So they shovel blank. Sorry, they blank. So you have to put shovel. What is the form of shovel, right? So last Saturday evening, it was happening repeatedly for more than half an hour. So it should be they were shoveling because it was happening for some time in the past, right? So the answer should be were shoveling, okay? Next one, number seven. The migration officers, what did they do? Everyone's travel records thoroughly before they permit them to enter. So it's kind of a routine activity. So what do they do? Examine. Okay, there is no change because it is a plural subject and therefore the verb is in the base form of the verb and that is the answer. The next one. While blank, the robbers fled in a car. So this is a simultaneously happening action. This was happening, that was happening at the same time. So while the girls shouted. Now the only way to understand this is by looking at the context. Is it happening at the same time or did something happen before? So you have to understand it from the context, right? There's no other way to understand because while could be used for both reasons, right? So while the girls shouted for aid, the robbers fled dinner, car and that is the answer, right? Next one. When the scouts into the cave, they were startled. So what happened? They were kind of shocked, right? So this is in the past. So therefore, when the scouts climbed into the cave, they were startled, right? Next one. The current population explosion in parts of Asia strain on the economy. So it's current condition, so therefore it causes. Asia, single, so causes. It's part, in parts of Asia, Asia, Asia is considered as um, singular, right? So therefore causes, uncountable nouns, right? All right, so there we go. Double check your answers. Okay, and here I'd like to pinpoint something also, right? Here you could even sometimes take it from the context and say, while the girls were shouting for aid. I mean, it could start before and maybe the robbers fled in a car after some time. So looking at the context, um, if you have written uh, the girls were shouting, you can give still give yourself a tick, 
right? Uh, because the context could look like that as well. All right. Right, so moving on to our last activity, rearrange the words to form correct sentences. Her Maliti lost handbag, realized she was, sorry, she buying jewelry, that was, was, when, okay? So you're going to start the sentence with Maliti, you have to come up with the sentence, which is a grammatically correct one, okay? So you heard me telling a part of the sentence, right? Uh, was buying, but you have to come up with the entire sentence. The next one about complaining, she, her afternoon, the was whole workload, right? So I've given you a hint, it's going to start with she. So take some time and pause the video after um, each of these sentences and write it before I actually show you the answers. The next one. Morning by four, four hours, people lining movie, the yesterday tickets to up work. So put them into a proper order. And it starts with people. The next one, at science, my last her night, notes studying, still 11 was sister. So again, they're jumbled up. Put them in the proper order. All right. Pause the video before you actually see the answers because there's no point in actually looking at the answers and thinking, ah, this is what you know the answer is, right? So it's always good for you to practice this. One reason is it helps you to build up confidence on writing grammatically correct sentences, right? All right. So make sure you take some time and you do this um, please don't you know just look at the answers and think ah this is what the answer is always pause and do it on your own before i show you the answers right coming to our last one after at veronica toddlers had hair her looked kitchen cooking at the the henry while done okay so i've given you a hint while henry you can start with that and then construct the sentence it's really good to do these type of questions on your own one reason is it's because you can actually check how good you are in your grammar sentence structures the other reason is it gives you confidence to write on your own and not just write on your own, but write a sentence which is grammatically correct. And then slowly, without the support of any of the words, you can then start writing sentences, right? So it's really good to try these on your own. So let us have a look at the answers, okay? Maluti was buying jewelry when she realized that her handbag was lost. She was complaining about her workload the whole afternoon. People were lining up for hours yesterday morning to buy tickets for the movie. At 11 last night, my sister was studying her science notes. And the last one, while Henry looked after the toddlers, Veronica had her cooking done at the kitchen. So that sentence um, is a sentence where they were simultaneously um, doing it, right? So here are the answers for the last activity. So coming back, to what exactly we have done today. Our lesson was all about the past continuous. We had a look at the use of it. We had a look at the form of the past continuous tense. And then we had a look at some of the examples and we did a lot of practice questions. We even had a look at bringing in the uh, present continuous, the simple present tense, the simple past as well into an activity so that it gives you a good revision as to when you use which tense. So that brings us to the end of the lesson, past continuous tense.